the mercy that was quick in us but late, by your own counsel is suppressed and killed. You must not dare for shame to talk of mercy, for your own reasons turn into your bosoms as dogs upon their masters worrying you. See you, my princes and my noble peers, these English monsters. My lord of Cambridge here, you know how apt our love was to accord to furnish him with all appurtenance belonging to his honor? And this man hath for a few light crowns lightly conspired and sworn under the practices of France to kill us here in Hampton. To the which this knight, no less for bounty bound to us than Cambridge is, hath likewise sworn. But oh, what shall I say to thee, Lord Scroop? Thou cruel, ingrateful, savage, and inhuman creature, thou that didst bear the keys of all my counsels, that knewest the very bottom of my soul, that almost might have coined me into gold. May it be possible that foreign hire could out of thee extract one spark of evil that might annoy my finger. Such and so finely bolted didst thou see, and thus thy fall hath left a kind of blot to mark the full fraught man and best endued with some suspicion. I will weep for thee, for this revolt of thine, methinks, is like another fall of man. Their faults are open. Arrest them to the answer of the law, and God acquit them of their practices. <laughs>